What is going on, you beautiful people? It is Charlie here, and welcome to Kuzenbo the Movie. This is a long-awaited series where, of course, I play one single god in Ranked Duel for the full length of a feature film. I play them at a GM level, in this case, Masters, because GM is actually just MMR cap. You have to be 3,500, and that's the only way to hit GM at this point. So play them at a high Masters to GM level, trying to master the character or really use the character to its fullest extent. In this case, we're playing Kuzumbo, who already is a god that I play an absolute ton over in Duel, and I use different builds every single time, different skin every single time, just to really see if I can make the most out of Kuzumbo in a Duel setting for the full length of a feature film. And as always, I gotta remind you guys, if we get 1,200 likes on this video in the first week it is uploaded, I will have another movie coming for you in two weeks. If not, I'll just get it done whenever I'm ready because it does take a lot out of me to get wins on Guardians in Duel. In this case, we're doing our third Guardian movie. So again, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, help me out in the comment section. And without further ado, let's jump into it. Kuzenbo the movie. I was muted that whole time. <clears throat> uh, let's just leave it in. You know, let's leave in that dumbass of my dumbass just being muted there. Uh, yeah, Morgan Le Fay was open. That's what I was thinking was going to come through. But on her was also a very uh, possible option there. I can't believe I was muted. What an idiot. So we got game number one. I'm thinking, man, Toxic Plate and Deathbringer upgraded are both decent options to deal with like the, the the healing start that I sometimes go for. Cause it's either Bancroft's Breastplate Chronos Pendant, Typhon's Polly, or you just start Chronos Pendant, but then you run out of mana quickly. So Book of Thoth could also be an option. Let's do Bancroft's though. I think this is the best call. We'll go Shell, we'll probably get Blink later. Do something like this. It's a little sketchy to not get your two in case they invade, but we'll work it out, you know? We'll figure it out. Hopefully he doesn't invade me. I'm locked and loaded. We do have very good clear, though. We do have very good clear, even if he does invade. I might be all right. We definitely have clear him, that's for sure. Getting this ready just in case. Yeah, I wanted to like reset it if it didn't get like if he just jumped over the wall. I wanted to be ready to fight or something like that, but we seem fine. See, we already out cleared him, so we just push this wave ASAP. Let me head over to his blue. He's got Aegis. Okay, that's really good for us. Aegis is not scary. He's gonna jump over the wall, obviously, so I'm just gonna back this up. Wow, his jump somehow stole that. I wonder if he actually thinks he wins this. He does think he wins this. He already impaled, so I don't have to worry about it too much. I have shelf. He wants to jump over the wall. Mm, you know, I want to push him through the minions, but I won't. He's still trying to kill me. You're lucky, buddy. You got two buffs, though. I kind of have to be careful. I got his mini, so I'll hit five pretty soon. I think he hits five after those. Yeah, so I have to watch out. Not great. Boink. Not great. Maybe we can bait his ult. If I go there. Easy enough. Easy enough. This won't hurt too bad, right? Not bad enough to kill me. Not a terrible start. Not great. It sucks that his jump somehow confirmed that blue. Thought I had it. I have this bad problem when I play Kuzumbo where I get used to late game Kuzumbo damage numbers and then I play regular Kuzumbo damage numbers and they are not the same. You got to get to that point. You have to earn it. And I have not earned it. Not yet. Not bad though. I'll take like minis on his blue and a blue confirmation. If he started red, I mean, if he started his blue, it goes way better for us. Okay, so he gets those. Remember, his ult's down, so there's nothing to be afraid of here. Just gonna out-pressure him. Remember, he has Aegis. 
instead of beads, which means that we can always just like push him through. I want to go for a kill, but I don't want to waste these potions because clearly he's not going to step up. I'll try it. There it is. So the reason I thought that would work is because he didn't have beads. But I didn't want to use my potions, right? So I'm like, what are the odds I can get a kill here without popping a monopot? Didn't seem too high, but it ended up working out. Trelly Jr. will clear the rest. Very nice. I'm thinking I can't do that. Yeah, let's do this. Not a bad look. Not a bad look at all. And remember, he can't pop his Aegis during my ult because it's just constant CC. So, like, there was never a way that he was going to live that. I see Chester. Blue's up. Red's up, but I really don't care about red. Will Chester go and pop that? I mean, will Chili Jr. go and pop that? Yeah, he will. Oh, red's still up. Man, maybe I should have went over there. I think I can still get the whole wave. Nice. I would love to fight him. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Does not seem like we're getting too involved yet. That blue buff I got my eyes on, though. Hey, buddy. I'm behind you. Just a little poke. Just a little poke. I mean, it's popped a shard. And for what? And for what is all I have to ask. Hmm, is he at level 9 yet? Not yet. If he jumps over the wall, he's dead. I used everything. I think he might have jumped on me. He didn't, though. Smart that he didn't jump over the wall. Did we not learn our lesson, old man? Boink. How many times we gotta teach you this lesson, old man? I wanted to throw Charlie Jr. so I can get dual orb value. Mm. 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 I don't think we ever die, so I'm going to stick around. And it's going to target the minions over me. Sometimes it targets you. The way it works, if you haven't like paid attention, uh, is if you walk in when there are no minions and dual orb, when the dual orb runs out, it's going to hit you. But if there are minions and you walk in in dual orb, it focuses the minions. Just a little pro tip for you. In case you're wondering why sometimes the tower just frags you. That's the reason. So we're not going to have anti-heal for a while. Chronos Pendant, Typhons, probably Poly, then Divine. And the reason is, I don't want him to get late game. He obviously wins late game. And the only way that I can like try and stop him from getting late game is going for fire and getting his tower down, things like that. And the only way I can do that is if I have Poly. So that's the reason. Damn, I thought I could body block it. Thought I could body block it. Couldn't. Hmm, he might be dead here. Dead. Let's go! I didn't know if that was kind of... Like, I knew that he would get hit. I just didn't know if Trelly Jr. had my back. He did. And here's a bounce you might want to learn if you're playing Kuzumbo and Duel. That, that one. That one. There you go. It insta puts your Nene just there for some extra tower damage. Might help you out in a pinch. When you gotta kill someone and get out. I wanna clear this. Yep, nice. Thought he might go over towards fire, to be honest. There's no blue up, and he walked this way, so I'm definitely gonna head over towards fire. Nope, we're all good. Okay. Again, not too concerned with red buff. He's not doing much damage with the Aussie start. He's backing, actually. Okay. Well, I'm definitely not going to, like, not get red buff, right? That doesn't make sense. That just wouldn't make sense. Very nice. We're going to pop this. We're going to clear the wave. And then I might just go bang, bang. I think these are up, too. I think I was diving him. I'm not diving you, bro. Not yet. You get to live another day for now. Oh, he got these. Not bad, you little farmer. If I do want to go for fire, I need wards. I can do fire with this build. Like, it's not 100% necessary to get poly. It just makes me feel way better about my burst. Because if it gets stolen, then I'm just screwed. Like, you do not want fire to get stolen against an ADC. Because not only will the game stall out way more than you want. 
you just can't push anymore. You know, you they never have to push up. They're just going to sit underneath their Phoenix for years. I didn't get Polly. Oh, I mean Blink. I didn't get Blink. Figure I could bait that. No reason to place the wards yet because he's clearly right in front of me. There we go. No need for thorns either. I might try it later in the video to see like if it's okay. But it's not good. I don't think he went for fire. I wasn't looking though. Good on him if he did. Nobody me. But I don't think he did. Double Chester. Not bad. There we go. My man stole two minis with his ult. That's crazy. Watch him get half health and push this wave. Try to immune that and he guaranteed dies. Remember when you already ulted? Here comes the wave! Kelly Jr! Took a bit, but we got him. Not necessary. Probably should have got the dual or but the Titan was scary. We're in there. We're not getting this, are we? No, we're not. It would have been close, but no reason for me to risk dying. We also don't want him to go for fire, so I'm just going to send... The Nene to wash my back for a second. And we'll back around the corner. No way, he's got wards. Cool. All right. Typhon is on the way. Hello. And I'm going to get a mana pot because I don't have mana anymore. I keep getting red buffs instead of blue buffs. He's getting crit. That's what we expected. Maybe too little too late, though. Because you need two crit items to really effectively do damage with crit. Demon Blade doesn't really matter. You ain't getting this shit, Bo. Thank you. I was going to ult that, but fuck it. So at this point, we can like weasel that that Phoenix down with our Nene's if we really need to. No way that I'm going to commit to a fire giant without Polly. Can you not see me? All right. All right. Not bad. I want to go in for some damage, but he's he's leaving. Damn it. All right, it's fine. Probably time to go for fire now. We'll get Typhons. Our wards are good for a little bit longer. I might have to replace them, but all right, we'll go for fire. Our fight is still very strong without his crit online, so I kind of want to try and kill him one more time. We got his Aegis, too. We got his Aegis. Come on, Vinny. You don't want to do this. Do I have this ward on or is it random? I feel like my wards are on random. So I don't even like this Apollo ass ward. What the fuck? Alright, my confirmation is way better than his, I think. So maybe we just do it, man. Maybe we just leave it all on the table. Not bad. Hey, buddy. Like, what are you walking up for? Do you think you're going to catch me lacking? I love that. Like, he's all aggressive when he sees me backing up. He's like, I'm going to walk towards him. He's scared. And the second I turn an eyes towards him, he's like, oh, never mind. I'm actually scared. I know you're scared. You're not slick. You don't think I'm aware? You don't think I'm heavily aware that you're terrified? You're getting pushed through those archers. All right, what well, we learn. What are you doing? I let you live. Do you understand? The only reason you're alive is because I will it so. No, like, I don't get it, man. I don't understand people that like, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run. Oh, you're not chasing me? Okay, I'll fight. No, you don't get to fight. You don't get to choose. 
This is not you don't have a say in the matter, okay? You are Johnny No Damage. And I am the Kuzumbo. Don't jump on me. Don't do it. He's not going to. He's not going to. You would never. Give me this red buff. He's coming. Hi. Mm -hmm. Stay over there. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't make sense to me, man. I don't get it. Because <laughs> as a hunter, you have extra range, right? So as long as you're not getting aggressed upon, like, technically, you can walk up. But you don't want to do that, man. You don't want to do that. Polly, it is. Dude, I spent a lot of gold on wards, but let me explain why. Okay, he's going Toxic Blade, which is I think is kind of silly. Like, I realize it's cheaper than Deathbringer. Maybe that's the call. He's like, hey, I could lose before I get Deathbringer online, but you already have Demon Blade. Just commit. Just commit. I think you lose anyways because I just get Spectral and then you're reflecting your crits <laughs> before mitigations to yourself. And it's like, why would I ever care about that? Mm, I thought he might be able to stop me there, but he didn't. I think I'm just start looking at Titan damage here. I'm gonna give him the Impale Me instead of the Wave, maybe. He cleared the Wave. If he jumps in. He didn't. I do have wards and I can heal a bit off this. Just a bit. We'll get everything. Obviously, fire's not quite up yet, so. We gotta take a little bit of time. We should be able to get close enough to Divine at this point. And I'm a big fan of Tyre or Bancroft's Claw, so I think we'll look towards upgrades. Like Scorching Blink, you can do so much with Kuzumbo. Because you can push them through the, the fire. You can bounce them up and down on the fire. Like, there's just so many options there. Which is why I love Blink, as well as not having to use your dash to close gap. Alright, so if he's on this wave, we'll fight him. I'm going to see if I can get around the corner in time. Nice. If he's on this wave, we'll fight him. If not, we go to fire. Okay. He has to defend waves, because two fire waves are coming, so let's do this. And notice how I pull the BDK away from my Nene, so he doesn't get a little bonked. You know, we don't want him to get hurt. You must protect him. People can't watch him if he's dead. It's a little bit of extra DPS, but it matters. My Nene did 2400 to BDK. All right. As a Kuzumbo, I like fighting in waves. I'm like Hades, so I will wait for minions so I can push him through. He's not near the minions. So we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna pop my two, let him reflect a bit. He already impaled, great start. Obviously, we can just end. That Titan is very weak. I want to play it a little bit smart. I can always heal. If he goes back to his base, I'm just going to blink in. I wanted to kill him one more time, but he just couldn't hang. Didn't even need to divine. I mean, he had Austin. He upgraded Aegis of Judgment, my man. All right, not a bad first game. Not a bad first game at all. It really sets the tone. Let's see what game number two has in store for us. All right, we got game number two here. Let's see what we can do. I did just play a duel in between games, and I really hope it's not the Kakulkan I just faced. Okay, maybe it's the same guy. I'm not sure, but <laughs> I just faced... He went Tablet, Breastplate... Contagion, Pridwin, Emp Armor. The dude went full defense Kakulkin, and I obviously won, but it took so long because he kept warding fire. He would run away when I got close to it, and then he would ult in and try and steal it. It took so long to beat that dude. Okay. Um, and I wasn't Kuzumbo, obviously. that It was a, a different game. But anyways, jumping into game here against a Nike. Um, so obviously, we just get Sunder. 
later on, and that'll be pretty free. So can I just go... Maybe we start like Book of Thoth and Blink, and then we get Sunder. That could be fun. This could be something. We might be cooking here. I really, again, like... Uh, what are your biggest fears as a guardian? If you're if you're if you see these movies and you're like, holy, I want to take Kuzvo in a duel, he looks fun. You don't want your first buff to get invaded. Like if you lose your first buff, they hit level five first, they get all the pressure in the world, they can continuously take all your buffs, and it becomes so aggravating. So you definitely want to make sure that doesn't happen. Considering the fact that this dude has a chalice and no monopots, I can't see a world where he doesn't go for his own blue. But there is a world where he invades mine. Like, he could jump over the wall. So I just want to be ready for that. I'm not going to use my three right away. Okay. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. Because it didn't... It seems like he was here, right? Like, we all thought that. Let's see. I mean, I don't hear him. Okay, he did get it. Cool. Cool. Obviously, we're just going to do this. Is it going to be Charlie loses the blue part to the electric boogaloo? No, it's not. Very nice. Very nice. Now you got no mana. Did you think this one through? I don't think you did. Okay, you definitely didn't think this one through. What the hell are you doing, Jethro? Okay. You think I won't chuck the fattest nene of my life onto you, bro? Damn. <laughs> that was not the fattest Nene of my life. Let the record show that Nene was not fat. As much as I would like to ult him or something, he is knock up immune, so it's not like I would get anything done there. Boink. Boink. Definitely not afraid of his ult, though. His ult doesn't do jack to us. And obviously, we can just silence him out of it. That's like. We got our Book of Thoth. That's what we were looking for. Even if he jumped on me, I really wouldn't care. Because he's used his damage. He just used all of his damage in his one. Not a bad start. Diamond Border Nike as well. Respect. The sharper, the better. I'm not going to get any potions. I'm just going to save up for a chalice. Probably try to do bonk boink and go back to base. Sounds good to me. Dude, I love the jump on this skin. This. So if you didn't know, this was before the Ninja Turtles collab. If you guys are like newer to Smite. So this skin was like, you know, kind of a bootleg Ninja Turtles skin. And then we got the Ninja Turtles collab, but this was like the original Ninja Turtles skin and it's so good. That's also why Kuzumbo didn't get one. Because he already has one, technically. All right. Look at the Nene, dude. He's got his little headband on. All right. We got Book of Thoughts. So Mana is not going to be as much of a pressing issue. There's a world where we don't need Chronos Pen in this game, but I think we'll stick with it for now. We can stick with it for now. There's also a nice double bounce there. You might want to learn. Boink, boink. And then the Nene will just get that last hit for you. Always nice to know. Doesn't seem like we're going to be fighting any... Oh, hi. Yeah, buddy. That doesn't matter to me. What the fuck? You think you can, you think you can hang with the goat? Is that what you think? Yeah, you better. What is he doing? You better. I will fuck you up. Ah. Uh. What is he doing? Like, I know it took me a bit to actually get the throw off, but you think, you honestly think you can step to the king of the Kappa? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Our late game is just better than his as well, so I truthfully don't need to worry. This is a game we win early, we win late. We win all portions of this matchup. But hey, someone doesn't get a, a diamond board on Nike without finding ways to win. And he does have gooseberries, so maybe he'll go like an auto attack build or something. That could be interesting. That might be better than, you know, just full ability based Nike. I can tell you that much. Against a Kuzumbo, no less. Alright, it's a double chester. Oh, hi. I didn't even know you were there. It is a double chester, so you gotta watch out for that. What? Dude. You realize that the only reason... 
you are currently alive is because I don't want to murder you. No, we learn. Oh my god. You seen that vine where the dude's like, even the babies are some of the most dangerous animals in the world. So I built this cage to, oh my God. <laughs> he's got like a baby, ra or not raccoon, baby rhino in a like little cage. And he's saying how dangerous it is. And then just walks right out and he goes, oh my God. <laughs> I think it was an edit. I don't think it was real, but it's still hilarious. <laughs> don't do it, buddy. You don't want any trouble. You don't want these hands. These little reptilian hands. You know, I learned that from Over the Hedge. There's like a bit where uh, everyone's calling a turtle amphibious. And he goes, reptile. You know, like, I don't even know if it's true. I never Googled it. I just assumed, you know, he would do his homework. Bruce Willis is the raccoon in that movie. And I think Steve Carell is the squirrel. One of my favorite things growing up into adulthood, looking at all the voice actors for like animated movies I watched as a child and being like, oh, I know that guy. I don't really remember anyone else though. I think Wanda Sykes is the skunk. That checks out. I love that we have a little over the hedge lore system when I'm recording Kuzipo the movie. <laughs> Dude, you don't act like you guys didn't ask for this. Not the over the hedge lore. No one asked for that. But I have no doubts that you all didn't want Kuzumbo the movie. What are you doing, bucko? There's the ult. What are you doing, man? Do you want the hands? It sounds like he wants the hands. Dude, he wants the hands so bad. You can see. He jumped in. You're lucky I couldn't blink there. I'm I'm teaching him a lesson. Come here, dork. I think I was still in the tower. You ready? Oh man, that would have been so good. Alright, there's actually a world where I die here. And it's when I don't silence his one. And that's pretty much it. That's the only way I die. Or if I dash, but this one's still up. No other way I die. I don't have the cooldown on it though. He has Genjis. I'm almost certainly gonna die here. Yeah, I'm definitely fucked. That's fine. I knew I was gonna die there. Nothing you could do there, boss. I was uh I was kind of fucking with her a little bit. I need a little uh, I need a little life steal, you know what I'm saying? I need a little healing to make this interesting. All right, it's getting a little toasty. It's like 40 degrees outside uh, Fahrenheit. I guess Celsius would be like eight, give or take. <laughs> and uh, that math might not be correct, by the way. All right, his blue is up, almost certainly. I just saw him at my blue. And I've got like pajama bottoms on, you know, stay nice and warm. Oh, hi. Is this the take? Thank you. I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. I'm glad this game's not going to be a complete wash, but it is, unfortunately, because of my trolling, not because of some sick play that Nike made. Which is kind of what I was hoping for. I was hoping, like, I'd be like, oh, man, Nike is kind of good. That's crazy. I don't think I'm going to be having that realization anytime soon. That would be my guess. That would be my guess. We get full Book of Thoth. We have Sunder. We got Chester. I don't know why I thought that would hit. It very clearly was not going to. <laughs> it seems like just Crusher. And if that's Crusher, that is a terrible buy. <laughs> just more tick damage to proc my shell spikes. Like it's one thing if you're an ability based like assassin, but you're just Nike, man. Holy shit, he actually went Crusher. I couldn't think of a worse item. I think that might be the worst item he could have gone on God. I'm not joking. I, I knew I'd just win this fight, like, handedly, so I didn't really care enough to... What's it called? I didn't care enough to actually use the Sunder on his ult there. Eh, I could... Did he just cancel his one? He most certainly did. I heard it. Alright, well, that was not smart. There's the beads. 
Really? Really? Do you think I could kill her just by thunder twoing? I want her to jump on me. My plan was to sunder and then she'd jump on me and then die. It didn't work. But wouldn't it have been funny? The guy sunder, she immediately jumps, and then it's like, get fuck nerd. I have my ult coming up. I think her ult's coming up too. Dude, I had to one. Why did I not just one? I didn't want to, I guess. I wanted to hit her with an auto attack. <laughs> This matchup is only going to get more rougher, but I like that we're scrapping. How much did I take just diving the tower though? 800? I, I think it was about even to how much damage she did to me and how much damage I did to myself through taking the minions and the fucking, what's it called? And the tower. Still though, it's a brawl to end them all. You know, she got my blue last time, so that's something to watch out for. Could be coming back for it. We get red as well. Serrated. I like a serrated. I like a serrated. I figured she'd jump over the wall. But she's not invading. She's terrified. She's terrified. You are going to have to get some anti heal soon, bucko. I'm just going to go for tower. That's more valuable than the blue right at the moment. Don't worry, me and Trelly Jr. got this. Sorry, I'm letting you tank, buddy. Are you positioning aggressively? You don't want to do this, man. I promise. You still don't. You still don't. I thought. That's what I thought. Well, that wasn't a good jump at all. What the fuck? Why did you not just like ult or something? You guys think I can do this with this little HP? I'm about to find out. Seems like it. Once you learn the Nene tech, your life gets so much easier as a Kuzumbo main. I took 300 damage from that. <laughs> what the fuck? I took 300 damage. And usually I would just buy full poly there because like I don't need to kill him. I need to kill the Phoenix. But with the Nene, you get a little bit of extra DPS that I think... Like, cause some people do this little play where they wrap around, clear your wave, and they never let you actually hit the, the Phoenix. But if you have, like, attack speed stim or a pet of sorts, that was the worst jump I've ever seen. I thought. Better jump over the wall. You gonna jump over the wall? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. Didn't quite catch her. Close. That was a bad nene. Ooh, doggy, that was a bad nene. Aw, oh, man. I thought she canceled it instantly. Ooh. Trying to clear those minions. We get it done. We absolutely get it done here. You gonna want me? You gonna want me now? The answer was no. Has he beads one single time? Oh, I tried to pre sunder it. Can you imagine? <laughs> like the second he sunder, I, the second he ults, it's just already gone. <laughs> I could have obviously just waited until the the thing, but oh well. If I'm double honest with you, I was hoping. I had some hope in my heart. I had some hope in my heart that uh, he would like turn and try and one or two me and I would sunder him to the point where that would kill. 
Um, also, so Sundering Blast destroys a big portion of the shield. But does Sundering Siphon, like, tick it down constantly? Like, here's one tick, two ticks, two, three ticks. I'm honestly not sure, but I want to try it. I would like to try it. It sounds intriguing. Are you intrigued like I am? You might be. You might be. Yeah, there's just no way I ever die anymore. <laughs> the, the game is over. I regret to inform any Nike supporters in the stream, or in the, the YouTube, rather. It's not looking too good for Nazgul. You got a power pot, respect. He knows this could be the last dance. Ooh, that's cancel. Sorry. He canceled it again. Why do you keep doing that? Oh my god. Look at the difference in our damage. Right, this could be kind of spooky. Yeah, I didn't cancel that. I didn't cancel it. Ooh, your team's gonna be pissed. They're not gonna be pissed, Charlie. Relax. Um, dude, Spear of the Magus is kind of nifty. Obsidian Shard would be okay. Can we give, can we give me this, this this last bit of pen? Let's go. He has no healing. Yeah, let's just go Ob Shard. We'll go Ob Shard, get some wards. We're probably gonna have to go for fire. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And literally, if I just only outboxed him and saved my three to cancel his one, <laughs> I would just never die. He would never be able to, what's it called? He would never be able to clear waves. But I don't know, man. I feel like I just want to give him a fighting chance, you know? He's not on fire. That's nice. We don't necessarily have to do fire but it's not a bad call and he has to clear that way first okay does he know that he's gonna be losing his phoenix if he does this it's like i'm down i really wanted that fire Well, we got it. I'm a little confused by what fucking owned me there, though. I'll be honest. You guys know what owned me there? Because <laughs> I took a lot of damage. We got his beads, though. Huh. He went full beads, full scorching blink, power pot, laid it all on the table, and lost his phoenix in the process. I was talking a big game. But uh, he's kind of chunking. He's kind of chunking. He's gonna get a red buff too. That's all right. That's all right. It's funny. Against the top tiers, I've gotten like so used to not trolling, but against like random ass picks like this, I don't think I'm uh, in the right headspace yet. It's all right. It's only it's only game two of Kuzabo the movie. We will get there. He hasn't purchased his last item yet. That's good. That is good. Alright. No way he doesn't have a sight. Like, there's actually no way that he can live this. That's why he ran. He's got Scorching Blink, though. I should be careful. Just in case he tries to chase me down. We'll take that as a dub. We didn't use much there. Definitely gonna get, let's try this. This sounds fun. Sounds enjoyable. Get ourselves full build. I mean, our all in is nuts. The issue is his Genji's like actually makes it so he gets so many jumps in one fight. And I do have to try and cancel this too as well. Okay, this should be him. Remember, I still have Blink. Damn it. Yeah, that was obvious. 
Bye, bud. He thought I was dashing at him. I was dashing to where he was going to blink. <laughs> not bad. Not a not, not a bad way to end it. I think the the nonsense I was spitting was still correct. Where like there's no way I can lose, but because I looked through my little blinders and I saw I saw a fucking bad character in Nike. I didn't play perfectly. I didn't keep canceling the one. Let us jump into game number three and figure out if I can play just a bit better. Well, we have an interesting development here. Uh, I had the option to ban Uller or Scotty, and I chose Scotty. Uh, we'll see if that comes back to bite me. Let's see. Is it going to be an Uller? It's a Fartimus game? What? Okay, this is going to be annoying. I think it might be a blink start into beads, possibly. I don't know. We definitely need beads. But the question is, do we start beads or do we start blink? Huh. Like, we should have our ult up pretty consistently. She does a lot of tick damage, so, uh, you know, I imagine we're going to be okay. This is actually going to be a Kronos pen and star for me. Blink could get me ahead early. Beads can make sure I don't fall behind early. It's a tough moral battle. It's a mental dilemma, if you will. Okay, it was right on beads. It was right on beads. What can I say? I honestly was going to go blink, but the universe wanted me to get beads there. Maybe they wanted to humble me. You know, they're like, you know what, Trelly? You're going to lose this game because you started beads. And we just had to make sure. We just had to make sure that you got, you know, got what was coming to you. What are you going? I just want to see your build. Carapace shard. Oh, this man came to play. Holy shit. This man came to play. Minions have spawned. Just let me. Yeah, we're both getting blue. It's fine, okay? It's fine. Dude, he came to play. The only person that goes Carapace shard is someone who means business. And that's on God. Like. You got to understand the ins and outs of, uh, you know, protections and guardian based stats if you're getting character shards. So we will see. We will see how much fun this game continues to be. You know, our clear is god awful, by the way, which is why I knew I could do this with the utmost certainty. Uh, Artemis just can't clear buffs for shit. And I have a triple bounce. Where's Trolley Jr.? Oh, my God. Trolley Jr. got stuck, man. I almost couldn't clear that. Like, I, like she could have walked up and three it possibly. Where'd she go? Did she go for minis? I thought, yeah, I hear her. She's here. Got the Nene, so I might as well try. All right, one bounce is all it takes. Oh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. No clue. Not a clue. Don't ask. Don't care. Didn't ask. <laughs> I don't know what that was, bro. He ignored the wave to go for minis. That's a little ridiculous, right? Like I'm not, I'm not crazy. <laughs> that seems a bit whack. Okay. We have nothing better to do. So I'm going to sit here and do the coos and bow dance until I can get my chalice. Dude, what was that? This is crazy. I'm almost MMR capped at this point. And uh, we got Diamond Fartimus is just going for mids. Doesn't do him quickly. Does not do him quickly. That I can assure you. I already told you how bad our wave clear is or our buff clear. It gets even worse because there's no minis over here. They're all the same. They're all just... <laughs> That's my impression of the, the guys over here. And I assume... Oh, she got them all. Okay. She did get them all. Well played, then. Well played to you, Fartimus. Ah, oh, goddammit. No way I'm about to dash under tower. Like, that just would not make sense. Wouldn't make sense at this time. Not gonna get a mana pot, though. I don't imagine we fight too much. Like, she's giving me the... I goofed early vibes, so I'm going to be here. Obviously, she knows I'm not there right now, so maybe she's not on her tower at the moment, but, you know, she's going to hang out there for a while. What's really annoying about characters that have, like, traps, like Artemis or, like, uh, Arachne, is that 
you know, they can stand. They can stand them up near fire and just be like, you know, you can't walk past these without revealing me. So trying to sneak a fire giant's definitely not going to be easy. Your blue's up, buddy. You want it? Do you want it? You do. But you're going to clear the wave first. Might as well just go the long way to make sure I get this XP. Yeah, I knew a minion was going to die there. All right, acceptable. God, I couldn't find it. Doink. Couldn't find the old double bounce. Whatever, I'll do it for the speed. Speed. I am speed. Dude, what's going on with Lightning McQueen? There's so many memes about Lightning McQueen on Twitter. And I don't get any of them. Not a single one. We talked about over the hedge. We talked about over the hedge last game. Like, we gotta talk about cars in the movie this game. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Let's think. Breastplate coming in soon. I'm just trying to keep this game spicy because I'm telling you, she's not going to step out of that tower for quite some time. Quite some time. Oh, hey. Damn, see, I hate that about Chester. I feel like I set up a nice double bounce, but doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Chester's like not targetable right away, I think. Or I fucked it up. We can try it again next time. Is that minion just get yeeted? Hit me, baby, one more time. I want to dive him. I could do fire once I get breastplate, to be honest. That's probably the better idea. What are you doing out of there? What are you doing out of your tower? Right, he already has a ward. Dude, I'm about to this 50 50 fire with breastplate because I never die. You know how many times I've said I never die and then I've died? I think I did it last game against the Nike. I'm pretty sure I said I never die and then I died twice. <laughs> but in reality, I don't die. Especially if she's this far up. You better run. Easy juke. Alright, whatever. Time for fire. She still has the ward. Okay, she's aware that I'm could be going for it. And bite and gnaw. God damn it! I should have went for it, man. She definitely was looking at me. She was aware. She's like, "Oh, he could be going for fire, but I'm not gonna step up for it." Well, why the hell not? Why the hell not? Now I don't want to do it. You've got defense and shit. Let's wait. Let's see. Let's see if the old stand here menacingly trick works. This is good. Got the body box. I might as well just bead. Got her beads. Nice. But she thought I was done. That's the real bait. She thought I was done. I'm never done. Um. All right, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Maybe we're not done. Dude, we're cooking. We are cooking with oil. Yeah, you, you coming for the steal? No, she's not. Of course she isn't, man. She's already revealed herself. You know what she's revealed? She will not be fighting me for half an hour. All right, we just go right into Typhons, I guess. Oh. All right, it's fine. We got our Typhons, we got our Blinkus, we got our Wardicus. And now we start pressuring. Under pressure. We still need to do more damage to get our bow online. We are kind of chunking though, and Charlie Jr's got our back. He does good deeps. Good deeps. I know your beads are down, buddy. And you know my ult's up. Eh. You can finally test it, okay. Yeah, see? Isn't that annoying? That's clearly a double bounce, but Chester's untargetable right away, so it's like... I don't get the, the benefit of setting up my sick double bounces. Not at all. She still has the ward. Oh, she thought she saw she saw the Nene doing fire. She thought I was actually on it. That's funny. I'm gonna blink on her, why not? 
Ah, uh, that was a terrible bounce. I needed to get her towards the wave. There's no reason for me to try and go for fire anymore. This wouldn't make sense. Would not make sense. She can't do it at all, though. Like, she would never be able to do FG. And don't get me wrong. My confirmation is, like, loads better. But if I don't have my ult up to immune her ult, she can CC me and steal it. And I don't like the idea of that. If I can stop her back with a stanky bounce here. Wait, what? What are you doing? What on God's name are you doing? I'm not going to get that XP, am I? Watch me stop her back. You ready? It didn't stop her back. To be honest, I thought I had take damage still on me. I didn't. And obviously she's going to make it in time for this, but... Hey, my ult's back up now. I don't care anymore. Coming. Take an ult. Easiest confirmation of my life. Now what? Ooh, you missed the trap. Ooh, you hate to see that. Kelly Jr., you're stuck. You're fucking stuck, buddy. You ain't getting out. Oh, yeah. I'll get another dash in. Boink. I didn't grab the... What? We're up six in because the booze and bow gets up to zero? Come on, man. All right, the arm is tapped out. Even with Blink, he was going Blink. All right, let's see what game number four has in store for uh, for this menace of a Kuzumbo. All right, this may be the worst Kuzumbo game I've ever seen. This dude banned Volkanthoth and Marty, leaving open Bastet, Kali, Baka. I'm not done. Ho Yi. Hold on. And Kronos in Hades, like the Anubis. There's so many good gods open, but we are committed. What skin should we use this time? Uh, I don't know. I kind of like this guy. This guy's kind of nifty. It's Christmas. We'll go winter shells. We're up against the Robin. Okay, thank God, bro. I was, dude, Bastet, I think would have been my least favorite. Like out of all of them, Bastet would have been the worst. Um, Hoya oh, close second, Baka, none of them would have been fun. But if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go Robin, why are you banning Thoth? Robin just eats Thoth alive. And it's funny, this is not the only guy who's banning Thoth. There's another dude that's like a master's baron main that was also banning Thoth. And I'm just like, what do you guys have against Thoth? You just not like winning through every point of the game. But I get it, sometimes it can be annoying to deal with. Um, let's see, we already did Book of Thoth, we already did... Dude, I... This is not the game to go attack speed Kuzumbo. Maybe against like a mage. Um, let's go healing. Let's go. Let's go back to Bancroft. All reliable. Go all reliable. Blink shell seems fine. And uh, you know what? Let's just let's just go back to reality. Jingle shells, jingle shells, jingle all the way. This will come out in December, won't it? Yeah. Well, by the time I'm recording it, it is November. But this might be out in December. So. It'll be around Christmas time. If you celebrate it, happy holidays to you. If not, then hey, guess what? You get to watch Kuzumbo beat up on people in Duel. That's my gift to you. That is my gift to you. I have not spotted him, but a Robin is definitely the kind of dude who I would expect to invade me. We shall see. We shall see. Doesn't look like it unless he's blinking. I'm paying attention to his gold, so I already know he's not. It'll clear in three, two, done. There it is. All right, I was way ahead of him though. So once again, same strat. Oh wow, he's using his abilities on me. That's so good. I think he just loses red because of that now. Unless he just ignores the wave. That's also possible. Come on, Trelly Jr. Yeah, my man used abilities on me. That's crazy. You know there's a wave, bro? Are you aware of it? Are you aware of what the wave is for? Huh. Oh yeah, we're in there. It's your plan, buddy. It's your plan. Oh, I honestly don't know why I shelled. There was never any fear of me dying. I right, watch this though, watch it. Oh, bitch. Yeah, I don't know why I shelled. I, to be honest, I saw him shell and I was like, cool, I'm gonna shell. Don't know why. Don't know why. I'm being honest. It does not make sense to me. But I did it. 
I was like, he's gonna ult me. He's level four. He's gonna one shot me. He's got no damage. I'm afraid I'm gonna die. Shouldn't have been. Oh, this is dumb, but am I doing it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. See, he's terrified though. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. You gonna do it? You wanna shot the belt? I don't think you do. I don't think you do. He thought he wanted to shot the belt, then he saw a full wave. Okay, I was about to say, if this dude chases me instead of clearing that wave, he's actually trolling. Like, there's no way, but he didn't. Smart man. Get your farm. I don't have much mana, so we're going to back up. Hopefully, I can see which way he's coming from. That's the way. Got it. Then we turn around. Easy enough. Okay. Not bad. How much mana do we have? 158, 180. Not enough to fight him. All right, we're going to pretend like we're backing. Did they just kill him here, you think? I mean, his shield's just going to build up. Who cares? Who cares? He's gone cold. I'm wondering why. Got out of bed. <laughs> Mind if I just push this? He waved towards me. What a guy. Oh, let's get out of here. We're going to get tier one breastplate, chalice, mana pot. Get back in the action. Get back in the action. We won't be able to check for Chester. We're too quick. Maybe we will. Three, two, one. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. And you can't see him there yet. Doesn't spawn in that quick. Oh, yes. Got the 30 gold. Wait, got that too? We won't get that one, but everything else, I'll take that. All right, let's see. Not there. Double Chester. Yes. We bring this to blue quickly and efficiently. Come on, buddies. We need to get red. Hurry. We need to get red. Three, six, one, three, six, eight, three, seven. Okay, he got it. He got it. He's on it now. I'm going to stick with blue. As much as I love damage, you run out of mana a little bit more. I can't lie to you. Can't lie to you. Okay. Respect. The tables. He has not backed yet. You think you can outburst me for that? I'd like to see you try. You just get with the minis, huh? Thought so. He's one of the minis. Respect. Oh. All right. So far, so good. The bow, man. I haven't faced any, like, cringe matchups yet, which is odd for me. Like, I don't know how much you guys play duel, but I've expect I, My bans have been really good, though. I've stopped banning, like, as many... Like, again, I didn't ban Bastet, I didn't ban Vaka, which, again, Bastet's probably my least favorite dual god to face, so I don't know why I didn't ban Bastet. But, um, I've been banning, like, Mama and Morgan Le Fay, which are just nightmare matchups. And I think that goes better. Like, these mages that have a bunch of easy CC are just not something that I ever want to deal with. Like, oh, if you tried playing Kuzumbo into a good Morgan Le Fay, I tell you what, you're not going to enjoy yourself. You are not going to enjoy yourself. I want to say the most, like, common matchup I get with Kuzubo is on her. That's, like, the one I played the most. And I've learned, you know, how to just out-pressure him and how to beat him. Doesn't always work. A good on her is going to be trouble. A good on her is definitely going to be trouble, but, you know, you cross that bridge when you get there. When he has Genji's, that's going to be annoying. The fact that he can just have that come back up so much. have it yet though. He didn't juke. Hmm. Charlie Jr. Damn it. <laughs> I wanted to wait for his shield to run out and try to kill him. Doesn't seem like I'm gonna have much luck with that one. He's going to stick around, though. Darn. Darn. Let this one slide. You win this round, buddy. I don't want to go directly into Typhons, which it would be great for damage, but hear me out. Like, right now he's going Genji's, but if I go Chronos Pendant, he might be like, oh, it's just Bancroft. That's not enough lifesteal to warrant healing. And then he won't go like a Brawlers or something. That's my idea. Might not work out. He may go Brawlers anyways, but hey. 
Cooldown is more important. Cooldown is more important. And I know you're on these minis, you son of a bitch. I was wrong. He wasn't on those minis at all. But we do have Chester beating up fire for us. <laughs> I mean, damn it, not Chester. Charlie Jr., man. It's not Chester. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Do 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 do. You want some? Better ult out, buddy. You think you're alive right now? He thinks he's alive right now. Can you believe that? Because I can't. Come here, bitch. Hit me. All right. I'm going to ignore him entirely. Me and Trelly Jr. are going to take care of this. Go get red buff. I'm telling you, man. I should start, like, some sort of easy strat with, like, cooldown med and, like... You know, a build similar to this, where it's like the second I get Chronos Pendant, cooldown med, and just go chuck like four nanas at fire and get it immediately. So at this point, like, I've been getting consistently this far ahead every game so far in this movie. And I always get to the point where I'm like, okay, now what? Like, how do I continue? So he went Sunder. That's rough. I was thinking about going Sunder. Because he's obviously a very shielded man. But dude, what if I went Gem of Iso? If you guys didn't know, and a lot of people don't know this, enemy shields reduced. That's something that uh, doesn't come up too often. I'm so fucking bad. We're just gonna get his ult down, but who cares? Not me. God damn it, I can't even get his ult down. <sighs> I just wanted to force something so I could go to fire. And of course I forced nothing. But minions are following him, that's good. I know you're back in here. You're not back in here. Where are you? You didn't go to wave. He goes to wave. He doesn't even realize how dominant I am. Hey. Yeah, get him, Charlie Jr. You're not, you're not living. I love that he thinks he's alive right now. It's insane. I love it. Yeah, you were being so nonchalant a second ago. Act like you're not about to ult out. That's what I thought. Take a hike. You ready? You ready? I'm not going to get this, but it's funny. It's funny to imagine that he was like, I'm just gonna go clear the wave. And I'm like, who the fuck said you're allowed to do that? Not me. Not me. Have fun. Watch me steal that blue. Okay, how the fuck did I not steal that blue? You gonna miss the whole wave? Or what? Have fun. <laughs> the whole wave. Right there. He doesn't seem to care. I, do actually live. I tell you what, though. He does fire. He's nuts. And I respect it if he does. So I'm just going to go for blue. I'm not even going to check. I'm getting a little nervous. Okay, I was going to say, where the fuck is he, guys? I didn't really think he was going to do it. <laughs> I was getting a little nervous. Cannot lie to you. I think I'm not about to just fuck your shit up. What did we not do? Did we not learn anything? Did we learn nothing? Let me just get this real quick. Hey, we'll have our fight. You know, give me a second, all right? Ooh, you're still in there, buddy. Not enough. Can I have blink now, remember? Or no, you don't remember? I'm a biscuit eating bulldog. All right, he did that. That's perfect. I have time to get red and fire, yes. Fuck it, just fire. 
reason I say that is because I don't feel... I don't feel like uh, I can even pick up red now, and I know that I can, so it's like, fuck it. He's gonna get red, but... Do you think I care? Someone who's got a kappa dressed up like a snowball. Look me in my eyes and tell me that you think I care. Go get your little your little red buff. Let's see. I'm watching him. No, he go he went this way, right? No, he went to fire. I remember red for sure. Oh my god, he did and I was right. I don't know, you're behind me. Gonna regret that, buddy. I tell you what, you're not gonna enjoy what you just did there. Fuck. Not going well. He thought it was. It wasn't. He thought it was going well, chat. I tried to warn him. You all saw me. You all saw me warn that man. Ooh, it's not going well. What did he care? None. He cared nothing. The fuck you doing, buddy? Get in here. <laughs> Where was he going? Why do you start moonwalking, man? You know what I keep Trelly Jr. around for? Situations like that where I need a Phoenix dead. And he's just like, eh, eh, eh. you know, I, I heard him. He said, hey. He finally got Brawlers. Figured that was coming. Definitely the correct call with how much lifesteal I'm going to build. With the Python, with the Pythons, with the Polly and the Typhons. It is definitely smart. And you saw how close that fight was. I was fighting into like a full Sunner. That could have been scary. But I am vastly ahead in gold at the moment. So, assuming I don't do some dumb shit. I see you, motherfucker. Like, do you think? What, what changed between the last time we fought and now? I'm actually curious. Yeah, see how you're, like, looking for the door? I can see that. I can see you're trying to leave. I think I wouldn't pick up on that. Oh, no, I'm running. All right, well, we learn. Stop my back again. You're going to this, Phoenix. That's what I thought. All right, cool. Bancroft's Claw is something. Bancroft's Claw is something. But I feel like it's a waste of gold because he's got the Sunder. Like, right now, it's not that useful. Uh, the Sunder into the, the shielding, I'm saying. But, you know, it'll add up, which means it's just gold I don't need to spend at the moment. There's a very real chance we just kill him in this next blink and end the game. But I'm going to operate as if that's not going to happen. We may have to get, like, one more fire giant, you know? I think he's definitely bad. You and I both know you're about to ult this, yeah. So I wonder who who we who we fooling here. All right, we're doing this in a full wave. I respect the whole the full wave thing, though. You know, I. He's like, all right, none of our fights have worked so far. My ult comes up soon. Yeah. <laughs> Bonk. Not bad at all. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't quite remember what game that was. Is that three or four? Um... We'll I'll, I'll check the replays and uh, yeah, we'll we'll see you with whatever game is next. It's either four or five. I truthfully don't remember. <laughs> All right, we're jumping into game at number five. And I did notice something after last game, we got ourselves a diamond border. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would take me nine wins to get a master's border. So I really wanted to get one for this video. But every time you lose, um, it's another two wins. So if I lost once, it would be 11. If I lost twice, it'd be 13. If I lost three times, it'd be 15. And it just seems so difficult. I'm 10-0 on Kuzumbo at the moment. 
Look, it can't go on forever, right? I can't just keep fragging this hard. Or can I? I'm not too sure. Let's do this. We got Slash Kuzumbo this time. Still going strong. Huh. I was thinking about going like a full defense build. Just like super cringe, ruin everyone's day type of deal with like Glad Shield and Breastplate and stuff. But... That also seems kind of rude. <laughs> that also seems just very rude. This matchup doesn't seem uh, too easy for me, actually, late, late game. It's the knockup community and his three and his two and his ult could be annoying. I can't really get away from it. So let's think about this. Um, I don't think I want the Bancrofts. Not this time. No Book of Thought this time around. Yes? No? No, let's go Chronos Pendant because I want Divine pretty early on. Uh, Shell doesn't really do much for me. Let's get beads. And then we'll get blink. Yeah, this works for me. This works for me. There's definitely a world where... Like, I might not want beads. I could see it. I could live in it. But let's just stick with the uh, old reliable for now, right? Let's just stick with old reliable for now. And we can deal with the rest as it comes. You know what I'm saying? Get ourselves some nice cooldown and some beads. Just in case. He still hasn't cleared. Man, that blonde clear. Not the greatest. We got time. Let's do it. Okay, he went Chalice. He's got himself a blue buff. I'm wondering how close I can get to actually clearing this. I can do it. No. I knew that was going to happen. Yep. Knew that was going to happen. Shouldn't have autoed. Troll. Okay, well, you're never going to win this fight. Never gonna win that fight. Unfortunately, he's gonna hit his ult too. Yeah, whatever. I'll let it slide. Not a great start for me, obviously, but I've got beads, so even if he ulted me, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. He might try to like insta cancel his ult on me, which honestly I'd be down for. Shouldn't have committed to the buff. His clear wasn't as bad as I thought. But he's got a little bit of an early lead. Just a wee bit. I definitely hear him still on though, so I could probably stuff this. He just clear them. He's gonna be full health for sure. If he goes from around, yeah, I figure that would happen. Oh shit! That hurt. That shit hurt. I'm amazed. This all probably did what, like 300 to me? 225. He's three to 655. My goodness. I yeah, uh, for some reason thought I would be able to ride, like just use my ult to immune the majority of his. Did not work that way. Did not work that way. Not a great start. Me losing that red buff kind of sucked. It was like absolutely free. And I just tossed it to him for, for fun. We let him have those. And he also has been like using his three at a distance to stay away from me. Which is really annoying, but smart as well. Annoying, annoying but smart. So I don't cancel it every time. But this is one of those matchups that will get better with age. You know, it's like a fine wine. Just give it time. It'll be divine. Thinking though. Think. Think. This is going to be, obviously it's a new day. I'm wearing a new shirt. I, I figure that is obvious to you. But, but what's it called? Um, this is going to be similar to the Nike matchup in that I need to cancel that three, you know what I'm saying? And I'm probably not going to at first because I don't respect a Guan is like a tough matchup, but it will be. It certainly will be. I got time here, so I don't care too much. Doesn't seem like he wants to invade my blue, which is a pretty respectable call. Damn it. Probably Junior didn't come back for me. I will go right into our breastplate and then mosey on over to that blue buff. So mine just spawned. His spawns in like three, two, one. Probably just spawned in now. I imagine he's just waiting, right? Like that'd be the that'd be the most sensible option. Still watching his gold. I think he finished it already. Is it spawned a little quicker? Or he was there a little quicker, I should say. Alright. We need to get that red buff though. And that'll pretty much free up all of this disaster that I've got going for myself. I don't think I have to worry about this fight too much, though. Ooh, 
Oh, he popped it. He popped it. Yeah, this is not a good fight for you. Figured it out. He's running. He does have healing, though. And he's going to have a lot of cooldowns soon as well. We already know that I don't clear this very easily, and I don't have too much mana either, but I want to keep poking him. Poking him is never bad. Okay. Oh, I don't have the mana. I don't have the mana. I don't have the mana. There it is. Oh, I needed that mana so bad. Dude, I kill him four. Okay, that's way worth it for me. All right. We, gave, we got the revenge kill. We are now up in gold. That was so bad. I thought I had the mana. Blue buff. You know, all that shit didn't work out. Didn't work out. But still worth it for me, obviously, because I get the revenge. And the revenge, for some reason, is better than first blood nowadays. That's just dual logic for you. That is just dual logic for you. Didn't even ult though, and he shelled. I'm gonna make sure I confirm this this time. Okay, he got Shoguns. That's what I figured. That's exactly what I figured he would do. See ya. See ya part two. Because he went Shoguns means he doesn't have Genjis, which means he's never gonna kill me. Like a bunch of threes and dashes and shit. Get out of here. Get our breastplate. Dude, Book of Thoth is looking more and more, like, appealing to me because of this mana issue. Um, I think I definitely want Divine first, though. Like, usually I would go Typhons here and start looking for Percent Pen, but we want to shut down that healing ASAP. He's got full transcendence. He's got Shogun. The auto attack just doesn't seem that smart to me. I figured he would go it because most people that play Guan like a fair bit recognize. Oh, Charlie Jr.'s got him. Hell yeah. Uh, recognize that like, you know, your abilities aren't cutting it every single time. He did get these. You smart little cookie. Um, But I just don't see a melee character being able to do that much to me until like full slotted 20 items. You know what I'm saying? You get me? But I also understand that his three just ticks my shell spikes, and he's like, I don't want that shit, you know? I wanted to get my extra 75 goal from my bow there. Come on, Kuzan. Alright. Not too bad. Look at these little claws, dude. These little Wolverine claws. I've never seen this character from TMNT. He seems kind of cool, I guess. But I like his claws, you know? His Wolverine claws kind of fuck. Hey, minion, get back here. There we go. Got our level 12. Huh. I wonder if I actually do want Blink, though. Like, let's think about this. As a... As a Guan Yu, you have to close gap, right? You are a melee character. You need to get close to me. So, is getting Blink actually that good or is it something that i probably want to avoid i'm popping the shard just because i'm probably selling this soon two nanes you're stuck you're stuck Yoink. once i get divine it's so much better so much better he's going soul eater which is just going to give him like no sort of value We don't really have much kill potential though because he's playing hard to get. I'm seeing if he's gonna get a relic here. He got beads, okay. All right. I'm thinking about it. It's either Sunder or Blink. I just, I'm weighing my options here. I am weighing my options here. I really do like Sunder against like, you know, Guardians Warriors. Ooh, sorry bud. My spikes are too strong. Why are you running? Why are you running? Didn't hit it. Didn't hit it. Got no value. This dude has no kind of damage to me though. Hmm. 
still has shell though, and he's got like a good bit of sustain. This is where I would want blink, you know, or I right, don't want to let him just go back and heal up. So I don't think he's going to all in me. You know what I mean? I think he wins a sustained fight that like takes a while to get done. So he's going to be the kind of guy that just runs when he's not winning. And if that's the case, then blink is a great option. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get a blink. How many times have I went blink this video? I feel like a fair bit. That's kind of the issue though. You don't want to use your dash to catch up to someone. That's your best damage. I mean, like literally it does more than your Nene, unless your Nene just gets like profuse value from like a freaking auto attack perspective. You know, they just never let it die. Let it die. They never kill it. Thought I saw him on it for a second. Probably getting to that point where I should be doing fire, though. I when Darn it. I this tiny. Dash it in. Nope. Nope. <laughs> We're definitely winning the start of the poke wars. <laughs> so I'm saying though, like, like if I get him low, I want to blink on him. Cause if not, it's like I don't get any value. He just beads, gets some farm. That's wild. I'll take that. I'll take some beads for some farm. How much is it? Twenty fifty. Yeah, not quite yet. Not quite time. It's gonna be a slower paced game, but we're gonna get there. Hydras. Okay. Okay. We're up in gold. His beads are down. We're getting percent pen. All good things. I'm almost certain that Chester is coming. Unless he just didn't get it. Alright, he never got his Chester. I'm pretty sure his Chester is right here and he's left it there all game. I'm also pretty sure that he would be here. Right now. Right? Oh, hi. That was part of my genius plan, my genius scheme. Oh yeah, What's your plan. I think I care about a wave. It's a trick question. I don't. Aha! I think you're gonna get tower damage. Also, no. Not bad. We got the red. We didn't lose any farm. Assuming he doesn't get fire right now. All good things. And we get warts. And then we go for fire. Easy. Done. Lock it in. He could get fire, though. Remember, he's got Shogun. So his attack speed and Hydras. Yeah, he could definitely do it. And because he's got Soul Eater and healing, like, it's not like his low health bar ever means anything. I just don't think he's got the stones to do it. He's going fucking Magice. Do you have any idea how many dashes I get in a fight? I don't think he does. I think he's none the wiser. No hiding here. I think he's none the wiser. Your middle tower is under attack. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I'm gonna just get all the farm on the map. Hello. Thought so. Thought so. I'm gonna get all the farm on the map. And then we're gonna go do fire. Let's see. We have wards, so we know if he's gonna walk over to us. He's gonna hear me, though. Let's see. He doesn't hear me? Huh. I'm surprised that he didn't hear me. Like, I did it right next to him, did I not? Easiest fire of my life, bro. What the fuck? I'll take that any day of the week, buddy. Let me smash. I am going to blink on him here. I don't want him to get too much tower damage. Your middle tower is under attack. Get him, little buddy. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Did you think you can like, I, I, is your plan to base race me or some shit? You think you'll ever win that? I've got a Nene and Polly. What is he doing, bro? <laughs> that is whack. Oh my God. I think that's his plan is to like try and base race the bow. I got some bad news for him. I got some bad news for him. That is never going to work out for him. Oh, I fucked up my Nene. That's fine. I fucked it up. He beads and ulted and oh, this is just not good. <laughs> this is just not good for him. It'll never work, buddy. Sorry to tell you. This game is over. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is even worse. I was about to say, like, are you ulting waves? What are you doing here? Put that down. Now sit here. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I still hit it. Let's go. Get one more Nene off. I was hoping the Divine would, like, clear. It didn't. We get Polly now, though, so it'll be much easier to actually grab that Phoenix. We'll, we'll get our rewards. Let them have tower. I do not care about that in the slightest. This is going to be a... Get Rod, man. Rod sounds good. Rod sounds good. Why not? Why not? You know, our blue's coming up. We'll grab that. Thinks we're going around? Like, what are you doing? I know you're right here. I'll get into a backdoor battle with you, bro. If that's what you want. If you want a backdoor battle, we can get into it. You guys ever see a Guan you get backdoored before? Because you're about to. You are about to. Uh-huh. All right, let's fucking do it, buddy. Let's see who wins. Let's see who wins. That's crazy. Did you get the Phoenix? Is it dead? Uh-huh. I should have waited. That was dumb. Eh, not that dumb. There it is. Did you? I had a fire wave. Had bead stealth. He slowed me. There was nothing he could do there, bro. What was his plan? He's like, I'll let the Kuzumbo, who's got someone to tank for him, infinite spawns of that someone, and Polynomicon, alone with my half health Phoenix. Well, I. Get some Hydra's proxy. And what, what was the plan there? All right, we'll cut to, I believe, one more game. Because I'm kind of interested if I can make the jump. Uh, let's see. We're almost we're almost MMR cap as well, sitting at about 3,400. So, yeah, we'll cut to, uh, let's just get one more game. All right, well, I can't lie to you guys. I was kind of distracted during picks and bands here. I was playing backpack battles, and I missed two bands, which means, let's look at this for a second. All right, that's fine. Ho Yi, Uller, that's unlucky. Um, Maman and Morgan Le Fay. Oh boy. Okay. Well, there's a lot open, but you know we're committed. We are absolutely committed. We haven't used this skin yet or this one, but I think the Kaiju is going to be the call. It's Alpwash, bro. When Uller, when Uller and Morgan Le Fay and Maman are open, this maniac goes to Alpwash. Oh, I'm terrified. Malo, the phone app. You are insane, and I respect you for it. Let's let's do this. Let's jump in to the last game. All right. Um, I definitely, you know what? I learned my lesson in a spam battle where it's all about who's spamming a lot of abilities. I think I want to be. I think I want to be the the Book of Thoth guy, and with that, with that. I want Blink as well. The second Relic is what's going to be interesting. Could be like Aegis, could be like Onk, Horrific, Thorns, or just something goofy. I'm not really sure. We know healing is going to be a bit of an issue this game, so it might be just Obshard instead of 
instead of Typhons. I just want to get a good look at him. I wanted to see his build, but he won't show it to me. That's fine. That's fine. His clear's not the greatest. If he's not stacking up minions right now, which he's not, I can see. I can see with my own eyeballs. The corpses are not there. Uh, we should be fine. Should be fine to just, uh, what's it called? To just triple bounce our buff and get there faster than him. Hey, man, if he invades me, good on him. I honestly have lost Alpwash a couple times in Duel. But if you, every time I play him, it's because I'm on some shit god request that gets absolutely destroyed by him. Like, I lost that Thanatos because every time you Scythe, you get stunned. And that's so annoying. Uh, it's not just Scythe. It's like, you know, killing minions. Like, there's just so many bad interactions there. You know, I've learned as well. What's the point? What's the point in just going for red buff when you can trap someone with Charlie Jr.? Hmm. You guys ready for the blink? Nene? Ugh. Can I just get like one more? Not enough. Charlie Jr. doesn't care. Look at him. Look at Charlie Jr. I don't care in the world for that guy. Alright, what do you guys think? I go for the buff or the kill? Well, you see what I'm going for. Let's see. You walking up, buddy? You want some of this? Finally walked up, but it was too little too late. One more bounce, one more bounce. For all the marbles. Oh! Damn it, I thought he was going to back up. Oh, Charlie Jr.'s going in. We got the minions on us. Don't care about that. One more bounce of a lifetime will take care of him. You ready? There's no way I can get it, right? Back up! Oh, he toot it and he was afraid. <laughs> I didn't have the geometry there. No way he can get in range, right? Doink. Perfect. All right. Not a bad start. We got his Aegis down. We got his Aegis down. <laughs> Dude. Uller, I, Uller, Maman, and Morgan Le Fay, but he goes to the flush. There are still cool people in Duel left. I love that. I'm telling you, when I stream at night, it's like... I can pick. I know exactly what god everyone is playing. Because I'm like, oh, I left open on her. Okay, they're playing on her. And it's like 100... I, wait, wait, with like 90% accuracy. I'm like, oh, this is a Baka. Like, unfortunate. And then it's Baka. Like, every single time. Because there really isn't that many people that just want to have fun in Duel. Let me rephrase that. Because some, for some people, tryharding and winning is fun. There are not that many people that are playing, like, interesting or cool god choices. It is, hey, I'm playing the most tryhard thing available. And that is the end of the hell I die. I will not be overthinking this. My man, you spent a lot of money on potions, didn't you? Didn't you? It's funny because there's definitely a lot of ho-yi bounces that you got to learn over the years of like, you know, how to double tap people on Phoenix line and tower line and like, you know, this one and that one and stuff. But Kuzumbo, you don't think the same. You don't think the same at all. Look at this man. Confident. Confident as all hell. You can tell this man thinks he's got me on the ropes. He actually does have a lot of healing I gotta watch out for. That was just in case I got hit. I'm gonna keep avoiding him. Oh, I didn't pop my two. That kind of sucks. I took a lot of burst for nothing. All right, see you, buddy. I've got healing. He's got potions for days. Try and remember that. It's looking like he wants to invade my blue. Is that not the guy? The vibe you guys got? We are not invading buffs here, buddy. Okay. Figure that was coming. Read from a mile away. Where are you at? I don't see him. Throw over the triple bounce. That was a bad dash, but it worked. <gasps> no. I've made a grave miscalculation. The red buff is up. Eh, wasn't that grave. He didn't do shit with it. He didn't do shit with it. I guess this could be spooky, 
But he doesn't have that much mana. You know? I feel like I get his way out last him. As long as we juke his abilities and don't get too weak, we're fine. Okay, that should have been it. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. Our double bounce, I'm saying, does 500 at this moment. There it is. Alright, he had one more. He had one more in him. That's fine. Don't three me. Okay, we're all good. <laughs> all good. I was worried about the three. The two, that's not killing. Who cares? Who cares about the two, right? <laughs> that's funny. I could have blinked. I was thinking about it. I was definitely thinking about blinking. Never had to, though. I'll definitely blink on him now. Remember that mana you were out of, buddy? Better Aegis. There it is. Doesn't matter. You're still dead. There it is. And the waves here. Fantastic. Fantastic. Get in here, Trelly Jr. Come on. You got some frags to get. You set. Back to business, baby. You know your blue's still up. You know I'm coming for it. Oh, that was silly. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And just like that, as quickly as he arose, he was gone. Huh. I probably would have blown that up if I were you. But he didn't. Not a care in the world. Goodbye, Malo. I will return with Divine Ruin, hopefully. Yeah, Divine into this Obshard Polly. I'm tired of walking by my boy Chester. There we go. We'll go the safe way just to make sure I don't miss any minions. I'm definitely going to get Kronos Pendant. You guys have seen, all right? There is one item that is core in all of my Kuzumbo builds, and it is Kronos Pendant. If you've ever tried being a Kuzumbo without cooldowns up, it's awful. Just awful. And I know with the shell spikes, like, you can have cooldowns up that way. But trust me when I tell you, there will be a time in the not-distant future of your Kuzumbo games. Where you'll be like, damn. This guy's not hitting my shell spikes, and I never have my abilities up. Okay. You're walking towards me? And you already ulted? What that mana problem we were talking about? What is he doing, man? He's so confident. Wrongfully so. I want to just push him through that whole wave. He groups up with that, I will. Eh. Would have. Like we get tower here, maybe? I'm not going for it. My minions got me. They do about 400 damage if left alone, so that should be plenty. I missed it on the way back. Come on, buddy. Perfect. Perfect. Not bad at all. You get red, we get tower. Polly into Obshard into... You know what? He went sprint. Hmm. He went sprint. Let's also get sprint, you know? Fuck it. Let's also sprout him, you know? I sprint, I sprant, I sprunt. And in this case, I sprouted. Hmm. Now the question becomes, do I feel confident going for Fire Giant against someone who always outbursts me? I mean, not always. He needs to get all of his corpses down and stuff. Whereas I just need a crispy little double bounce. Of course I'm playing for his blue here, but I want to give the illusion that I'm not. It just double bounce into push into auto attack. Gets the job done 60% of the time, every time. Mm 
You go to fire? Hi, right, you're getting that wave. I can assure you, you're not. We're, we're brawling in here. This is where the final showdown will be. Okay. I didn't think so. Wait, you still haven't walked past me yet. Are you aware of this? Are you aware of the wave that is coming in and you are missing? He's still not going for it. What is he doing? Dude, he's still not leaving. And I guess he's running away now. We'll take the sprint and he missed a full wave. I could have blinked and just killed him probably, but I think it was much more worth it to just see how he operated, you know? See where his head was at. It seems his head's in the, as long as I keep spamming abilities phase, I can't lose, which, you know, he's got Magus. He's got some pen. Not bad. He might have seen Trelly Jr. there. Maybe that's why he's heading towards like fire. Or he's got wards and saw me on this blue. Either way, I'm out. I'm out. Get our wards. Perfect. We can definitely go for fire now. It's just scary, you know, because I always try an outburst everyone if they show up, but I'm not gonna just 50 50 with an outwash, especially if I have like a good. Oh, I don't have my I don't have my Chronos pendant. I need to get that ASAP. What the heck? I completely forgot about the Bronos pendant, man. I'm wondering like why my cooldowns are so bad. I've cracked the code. I have cracked the code. I'm dancing. You just can't tell. No wars. He's just guessing. Okay. You gonna come this way? Right through a wave? Maybe. Guys just blowing from stupid town. That was a lot of fucking damage. <laughs> what the heck, bro? Old 500. My push 800. What the fuck? Oh my god. And that guy's get Phoenix. She's the bow, bro. What do you do? I don't know what to even say about that damage. You don't gotta say anything, man. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of need beads against this monstrous turtle. Huh? If not, I'm pushing you through a full wave. Twice. <laughs> Twice I'm pushing you through a full wave. <laughs> and we're not done. Going for the poly. Who cares about Kronos Bennett? Who cares? I am now a Kronos hater. I am officially a Kronos pendant hater. Dude, did he... What is up with people not getting Chester? I just got it. I can see that, but like... It's free XP. It's free farm. It's free gold. You guys hate those things? Soul Reaver, you need percent pen, my dude. You need pen 15. Well, I could just like end, right? There it is. Uh -huh. I was like, I wonder if I can bait out his ult just by standing there menacingly. That's exactly what happened. You can kind of turtle for a while though, huh? There it is. Got in, got out. That's what we needed to do. Need to get the job done. 20 seconds. Should be plenty of time. Ugh. And we just hit level 20. Not bad at all. 15 seconds. Do I even end here? 13. No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, we just dip. I shouldn't get stopped by anything, I don't think. Alright. We'll go for Chronos Pendant. I type share. Do you believe in love? In love? All right, we get. See, and Polly, dude, you need. You only have ten percent. Whatever, it's fine. Is that whatever? It's whatever. 
10% percent pen is plenty for this guy. I've got guardian base stats. 127 magic prot. He's like, yeah, but I don't have to worry about like a solid 30 of that. And it's like, okay, cool. Yeah, dope, dope, dope. There we go. Get our wards down. Let's see. Magi. What's up with everyone getting Magi's, man? This is two Magi's in a row. Wow, without Chronos Pendant and full cooldown, my my strat of like the dash and double nay nay into the two just doesn't work as good. My timing is all fucked up because of that. <laughs> oh, double Chester, my man. And Trolley Jr. got me. Thank you. I'll, I'll just let the Nene do my dirty work for a bit. Not bad. All right. Okay. I wanted to push him through the wave. Didn't get to, but he immediately sprinted. So I accept that. All right, we could get an item here. Did he upgrade it too? No, I thought it was upgraded. And right, we'll take that Magi's off. Now we'll kill him. And Polly. Nope, Polly. Yeah, Polly. Oh. Did I just pop this and he'll die? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, can I just pop my shell spikes and he'll die? <laughs> the answer was yes. It did 322 damage to him. That's a regular wave though. It might not be over. I thought that was a fire wave. That's only a regular wave. Yeah, I don't think it's over. The regular minions won't do enough damage. Damn, we gotta keep going. All right. We got our Chronos Pendant. Um, Scorching Blink is definitely better. Yeah, they couldn't even make it in. That's crazy. He gets one more shot at the belt. Let's do it. You know what? I should've just got a Power Pot over Scorching Blink, but fuck it. He went Magi's Revenge. Will his bubble even be up in time? Like by the time I'm going into end? I actually don't think it will. I don't think it will. I should have just picked that up because there's no time for red buff. I want to kill him one more time though. I don't really want to go for the end call. If he gets full damage, he could be kind of spooky. Oh, he got it. I mean this whole ult. For science. I should just. Yeah. How much did that do? Only 500. I expected my ult to do a lot more. My spikes did 633, bro. My two is insane. Like, do you know how much damage 600 is in a late game mage max up, which is just like a penalty for hitting your abilities? Everyone thinks of Kuzumbo as like the, the hunter counter, you know, where you get like thorns in tier two and just pop it and they kill themselves, but. Holy shit, man. You get yourself up against a mage with tick damage that's like not Anubis? You're in there. That's absurd. All right, that is going to be it. That was Kuz and Bo the movie. I wanted to check in because I was really curious if I could make it to a master's border in this movie. And unfortunately, I fall a little bit short. I'm at 1250. I'm 12 and 0. Zero losses on the turtle. And I've been getting 25 a win. So in order to jump from 1250 to 1425, it would just be too many games in this video. But if you guys want to see me get a master's border on Kuzumbo later on after this movie's been done, then definitely let me know in the comment section below. And of course, you know, I'll deliver. But thank you guys so much for watching Kuzumbo the movie. If you enjoyed, you already know what to do. Leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, guys. Peace.